A friend of mine gave me this book. It was called Kitchen Confidential. He said, Jake, you're gonna love this book. I said, I'm not gonna read a book about food. Why would I read some chef's book? Like, I'm not, I'm not a chef. Like what, like, what is you talking about? So, I threw it over my shoulder. And then one day I picked up the book, I started reading it. I read the entire thing cover to cover. It only took me a couple of days. It was a fast read. And uh, it was great, I laughed my ass off. That book is funny. Well written. At moments it's very deep. It's got all the gears, you know? It's got all the gears. I feel like I've got a lot in common with Anthony Bourdain, you know? He's an artist, he's into jujitsu, he's uh, sort of a renegade. You know, I can really relate to this guy in a lot of ways. So, uh, I read his second book, uh, A Cook's Tour. And that, that book, again, what a brilliant book. Hilarious, at moments very deep, poignant. Uh, Anthony Bourdain was only, I, I, how, how do I explain? To say that Anthony Bourdain is a chef, a famous chef, doesn't even scratch the surface. He was so much more than that. He was a author, a father, a jiu-jitsu fighter, um, an artist, uh, a renegade, a, tr a world traveler. He was a cool dude. It's uh, it's very sad today. I got news from my mom. Oh, she texted me and said, Bourdain's dead. I was like, oh no, because she knew what a huge fan I was. And uh, I just, you know, it's, it's sad. It's very sad. I hate to see it. So rest in peace, Anthony Bourdain. You will be missed.